We are in the kitchen making supper. Chris is going to help me. And we are going to have fried pork chops and rosemary potatoes. So, um, he is trimming up the pork chops. Let's make it where y'all can see. We got these pork chops. Um, it's a sort pork chops. They got a, a bone and, and all of that on there. And uh, he's trimming up some of the fat because sometimes they have a lot of fat. Hang on just a second. I'm trying to get his phone so we can read the comments. Let's see. There we are. Okay, we got five of y'all. Let's see who's on here. Uh, hello, Wanda. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna make some pork chops and we're gonna make some uh, potatoes. And let me tell you about these potatoes. Let me just get you up here where you can see both of us. He's just trimming pork chops right now. Um, these potatoes that I'm gonna make Look at these. These are so cute, and they're all different colors. They're a golden, they're a purple, um, and a red, and um, this is the best recipe. Uh, I have an uncle named John. We call him Papa John, and so he taught us how to make these potatoes, and they are delicious. So we're going to do that, and so we'll see how, how, I, how they turn out when I do it. And the first thing we're going to do is wash them. Let me get a strainer. y'all doing today hope y'all are doing good it's a warm day here in texas what was it? what was it babe probably close to 80 i think it was 81 today it was um 50 something a couple of days ago and then 81 today is crazy you have boot boot weather one day and then good you have fall in the morning and summer yep. in the afternoon and then winter at night. Yep. So, first thing I want to do is wash these potatoes. Yeah, you wear your flip-flops and your boots all in the same couple of days. So, I'm going to wash these potatoes and get these started. Because those pork chops, they don't take long once you start. Think I'll make my, all these potatoes? It's just going to be me, him, and Kayla. But look how pretty they are. Aren't those pretty? I'm going to wash them up real fast. Let's see what y'all are saying. Uh, let's see. I see Wanda. I, oh, hello, Chris. Cynthia. Oh, yeah. We, oh, Savannah, Georgia. You know what? We know a lot of people in Savannah. Um, there's a guy, it's the Church of God Church there in Savannah, it's called, and his name's Ryan Ralston, is the pastor. And uh, we know him really well, and a bunch of people that go there. What's some of the people's names that go there, that church? The Morgans. Yes, the Morgans. Um, let's see, the, people, the man that plays the piano. The Holcombs, I think. Holcombs. Holcombs, Holcombs. Yeah. yeah. He plays often. So we know we know several people from Savannah. <clears throat> so I am looking for olive oil. Okay, I found it. We got uh, we get this from Costco, so I get a bunch. Okay, what he told me to do is to put about this much olive oil in the bottom of the pan. So that's what I'm gonna do. And you put your potatoes in there. And then you're just gonna put about the same amount of water, maybe a little tad more. So I'm gonna put my water in there. Okay, just, it's about this full, okay? And then I'm just gonna start boiling it. And you put some salt in there and some rosemary. So, I'm gonna find my rosemary. Let's see what else you are saying. Uh, 
You're just telling each other hi. Okay. So anyway, we've got a very busy weekend coming up. Our church is having a Christmas dinner. And you know a platter for that? Sure. <clears throat> And so I've been making pralines today. And some people call them pralines. We call them pralines. And they're really good. They're really easy. And I did make a video, and it'll be coming up later, I don't know, a day or two. So, okay. So we're just going to put some flour in here. And I've gotten where when I make fried anything, um, we don't do it a lot, but when we do, Season your meat instead of seasoning your flour. It, it's, it's better that way. So, and I have a whole cabinet full of seasonings. What do you want to use today, babe? Mm, I guess that nature's own, maybe, or that, yeah, nature's seasoning. You want to use that today? And Lowry's, maybe. Okay. And garlic powder? Yeah. We always got to have garlic powder. And I need to find so my yeah, rosemary. Yes, let's turn our grease on. So, oh goodness. Try to find this rosemary in here. Here it is. I do have a rosemary plant outside. And, um, I'll... Probably will use that sometime, but today, so I don't have to leave y'all. I'll just put some rosemary in here. So I'm gonna put that in the potatoes. Just sprinkle it around. And then after you're gonna boil these until the water is all gone, and then you're gonna put it in a casserole pan. There's just gonna be um, oil in there, and uh, you're gonna put it under broiler, and you're gonna roast them so i got my rosemary in there we're kind of in the little you're in my way yeah yeah and i'm gonna put some salt in there so chris has to go to a meeting tonight tell him about it uh <clears throat> it's uh just a fishing club meeting or club that I'm in fishing club so tonight we will decide where we're gonna go and they'll give out the checks for who won last last month we only have one uh, one thing a month or one tournament a month I'm sorry and we always go the we, our meeting is usually always the second it's always the second Thursday of the month and then the tournament will be that following Saturday and so whatever we decide we're gonna go that lake is off limits until Saturday because mm. we got some old guys there that are retired and they will go out there probably and fish for the next couple days and know where everything's at so Did you season the meat yes so it's gonna make it a little more even I'm barely tall enough to reach that we got somebody from Pennsylvania watching too. Oh, there's, really? There's the garlic powder. Okay. So, we're hoping he wins. It's going to turn off cool again um, Saturday. So, we have two days of warm and then a day of cool, and it's just crazy. But, have y'all had snow yet in Pennsylvania? I, I was wondering if it had snowed yet up up north, but not here. It has not really. It's, it got down to 27 one night, but that's the coldest we've had so far. Doesn't feel like Christmas time at all. Let's see. Hello, Chris. Hello, Cindy. Um, we got 17 of y'all watching. We're having a party. <laughs> so what he's doing is he is um uh dipping it in the 
flour. I'm putting the seasoning on first. Mm -hmm. Then put it in that milk and, I mean, the egg, a little bit of egg to keep it, get it to stick, and then dip, uh, flour it. Yeah. And you can put some milk in the in the egg too. Let me do that. Okay. If I had buttermilk, I'd use buttermilk, but I don't have any buttermilk. So put a little in your egg wash. A little egg and a little butter. I mean, a little egg and a little milk. So. so I went grocery shopping today and I wrapped presents and I made pralines. That's all I've done today. <laughs> Poor Chris, I think he worked hard today. Those of you that don't know what he does for a living, tell them what you do. As little as possible. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> I work for a company called Hussman Refrigeration, and they, they're they like the oldest the oldest refrigeration company out there, but they, got, uh, they make cases like you see in the store for your, um, you know, your grocery, you know, the, the refrigerated stuff. They make walk-in coolers, coils. They they design their own racks. They're they're like worldwide, but we have the branch right here in Dallas Fort Worth, and that's where I work out of that branch. And I'm a uh, service tech, and um, I just call in in the mornings. I got a company van, service van, and I just call in in the mornings, see where they got calls at, and um, they tell me and off I go. And then when I get done at the end of the day, just uh, bring it back home. It's a real blessing that he has a, um, I'm giving these a stir because they're boiling the potatoes. I think I'm going to turn them down so they don't boil so fast. But it's very, uh, ble we're very blessed that he has a company van because I don't know about other parts of the country, but here gas is kind of high. And um, actually, I know it's high everywhere, but um, what's the average right now? About $3? Yeah, right around 3 I'd say. 3 three oh four, something like that, is the average of our, of our gas. And we live an hour north of Dallas-Fort Worth. And most of his work is in Dallas and Fort Worth. So he's driving... Every day. Yeah. How many tanks do you go through a week? <clears throat> Well, it depends on if I'm hitting one call and going to the next or if I have to stay there for, but probably fill up at least every other day, every day, or not every day, every other day, probably. Yeah, so that can get real expensive if you, if you don't have a company vehicle. Uh, so Pennsylvania hasn't had any snow yet. Well, maybe it's warm there. We got, some, we got Arkansas watching too. Uh. You tell them about your mom oh i've got wonderful news about mama those of you that have been following um granny's journey and if you have that note we have a lot of new subscribers but my mom had a stem cell um transplant uh, a year ago a year ago in the first of november she had 16 months to live um she had uh what they call um um, the, the, the name of her cancer is myelofibrosis. And what it is, is your bone marrow does blast or kind of like a little firework in there. And it, it hollows out your bones and it's just bad. And so when they diagnosed her with that in, um, 2020, April of 2020, they told her she had, um, 16 months and no cure. There's no cure for myelofibrosis except for, a stem cell um donor transplant donor transplant so we went to the number one hospital in the world which just happens to be here in texas it's called md anderson and um he's running the sink so i don't know if y'all can hear that trying to get all the junk off my hand um we they found us a, a donor it's all we know is that it's an international uh male we don't know anything else that's hot yeah and uh did you test it with the water yeah um 22 years old so he's our son's age well they um we did that and if y'all want to watch that all of that i had to be down with her in houston we were in the hospital for weeks uh actually a couple of months and all of that is documented on on here very interesting and um you actually get to see the actual transplant so anyway 
um, they called her yesterday and told her um, that she was 100% grafted, that her bone marrow, she had a bone marrow biopsy, and they said it was um, no cancer, no cancer. And 100% uh, of the donor's cells, because if, if you have a little bit of your cells and then a little bit of the donor cells, it can, it just, it just doesn't take all the way. And so hers did, and we were praising the Lord, and we we're so excited and so happy. But um, anyway, she does have a little problem with her liver. But we're going to, with a graft versus host disease, but we're hoping that that can get fixed. Um, she's supposed to go down on the 27th of uh, a couple days after Christmas, and they're going to discuss that. It is treatable. So this past September, just a few months ago, was the 16th month then she was given 16 months so anything past six months we just feel like it's a bonus and um this i mean we had prayer people praying all over the place and she plays the piano wonderfully and um she's very very gifted and she has uh several songs on here so if y'all want to look those up it's under the playlist of granny's journey and Lots of, she only plays Christian, <laughs> so um, I think there's a couple of love songs of stuff she plays for weddings and stuff, but um, uh, if y'all want to look that up, it's under Granny's Playlist, so well, it looks like he's starting the process of the frying. Oh goodness, we're going to have how many? 20. We might not have cooked so, it's just me, you, and Caleb, I guess he'll be taking that for, uh, for lunch tomorrow. Let's see what y'all are saying. He's in there barking at himself in the mirror. Oh yeah, our little our little baby, our little puppy. Um Hello Cindy. Um Yeah. Wanda loves breaded pork chops. Yeah, we do too. Sometimes we'll make mashed potatoes and gravy and make gravy out of uh, drippings. Okay, hello Tulsa, Tulsa, Oklahoma, Anna Oakley. Tell her, tell, uh, tell her that mom's doing good <laughs> and continue the prayers. <coughs> Searching Sabrina, hello Sabrina, I just love you. You're so sweet. Okay, um, let me stir my potatoes. And you just, he said, Papa John said, you just keep on letting these boil until it just boils all that water away. And then we'll throw them in a casserole pan and put them in the, um, under the broiler. So I like to clean as I go. I cannot stand messiness. So get out of the kitchen. Come on. Get. We, uh, you can see. Her mom has been dealing with that too. Yes. And so it's double, uh, it's in both of our sides of the family at this point. <clears throat> My mom's got breast cancer and she just did her, I think, I think she has like six more treatments of this second batch of chemotherapy. Well, she's on radiation. No, chemotherapy right now. And then what dad, I talked to dad this morning. He said they're going to go at the end of this, I think, I think it'll be done like January 6th. 6th, the 1st of January. They'll go to the surgeon and see if the mass has shrunk enough. And they've only done one, I guess, scan since this. all the treatments have started. She did, I think, a month of a certain kind of chemotherapy, and now she's doing a different brand, which, thank the Lord, hasn't made her sick like the first one did. But, yeah, the um, first one was hell. She is, um, they, the, 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 or the only scan that they've done to this point has already shown that the tumor has been shrinking some so hopefully after the end of this second round of treatment they'll be able to do surgery take out the mass and um maybe have to do a little bit of follow-up treatment after that yeah so we've been doubling up oh thanks sabrina she said she's going to watch that uh yeah so we've been double whammied with uh cancer on both sides but you know god is always faithful and he don't put on us too much that we can't bear and uh, we've got wonderful friends and a wonderful church family 
that uh, goes goes through it with us. So we don't even have to request prayer. They there's somebody in the church that will always say, "Pray for their their names is Brenda, Sister Brenda, or or, or Sister Sandy," and uh, just great. So. What else are we going to make with this? we got to have something else. We need a salad or... What are we going to make with this? <clears throat> Guess we can move green you... Green beans or something or what? Yeah, green beans would be good. Maybe over here we can see the stove. See our pots. <clears throat> At least for a minute. We've got the pork chops going right there. Um, yeah, let me get some green beans. That crazy dog, he's in there. He's barking at himself in the mirror. He, he's mad at that dog he sees. It's hilarious. He's only, he's about what, six months? Five, six months old now? I think he was born in July. Yeah, about four or five months old. But. Uh, so we're gonna make green beans, but look at these, I wanted to show you these. These are Dr. Pepper baked beans. We're not gonna have them tonight, but I thought that was interesting. We haven't had them. I bought a can just to try. We like Dr. Pepper. That's a Texas thing. We went on a cruise um, out of Galveston, Texas, and we were so excited because they actually served Dr. Pepper on that cruise. It's always Coke products. Well, we haven't been on a cruise since COVID, but I'm ready for... I don't think, I think this is probably the new norm. When you say get back to normal, I don't know if we'll ever get back to normal, but I miss traveling. So what do y'all have? Uh, it's starting to look pretty pretty perfect to me. Maybe just a little more. Yeah, just a little more, like a little brown. So what do y'all got going on this weekend? I guess I'll have a tournament Saturday. Uh, this Sunday we're having church dinner. Sunday Hello, night. cabin in the woods. <laughs> Sunday night, uh, the church is going to get a ham and a oh, sorry, a yeah, a ham and a honey turkey. baked ham. Mm -hmm. And then we're the people are bringing sides and they're going to have some games and really maybe I'll get a little video of it. We usually have a good time. Yeah, we have a small church. Uh, we just started. Uh, run, what about eight months now? Mm -hmm. We're doing really good, saving money, trying to get uh, buy our own place. We're renting. Uh, we're renting, renting a, building. a building right now, but we're hoping to buy our own building, maybe within the next little while. But we're doing we're doing really well. We got great people. Yep. Yeah. I think these are done. Okay. Here. We're having a Sunday school class. Chris and I do the teen class. And um, we're having a Sunday school class party. Um, not tomorrow, but next Friday night. So we're excited about having all the kids out. And we're going to have a fun time. And um, going to do Chinese Christmas. And then I uh, yeah. uh, have... Just games. Yeah, I'm going to cook hamburgers and hot dogs. And then we're going to have... A, I'm going to do a... Uh, bonfire or campfire out in our, our uh, fire pit. We let the kids vote on whether they wanted to go ice skating and go out to eat and go ice skating or if they wanted to come out here and um, have a campfire and just play games and have like a uh, Dirty Santa kind of Christmas. That and um, sound too good. Dirty Santa. Well, we don't like to say Chinese Christmas so we can say what? Dirty Santa. I don't know. It's just... Anyway... Um, we have some really, really nice, uh, friends on here, too, that, uh, they're the good okay, Chinese. what about anyway, White Elephant? Anyway. White Elephant, yeah, there's so many names. But then the White Elephant might get offended. Anyway, they voted to come out here. We were so surprised. I was like, wow. Let me turn this light on. We were, we were happy that they, um, they thought it was fun that we're here. These potatoes, I would say, are about three-fourths done. So, I'm just going to cook these uh, green beans in the microwave tonight instead of frying them with bacon and all that stuff. I'll season them up. 
So, but nothing else really. I'm sorry I haven't been able to do very many cooking videos lately. We've had so much going on with um, getting back from camping and, of course, mom's deal. But, oh, anyway, um, and then decorate. <laughs> I had to get all my decorations out and get all that done, but I got all that done finally. Let me show you my little tree. Well, I wish I knew if, how to turn this thing around. Uh, oh, maybe right there. I learned something. So this is my little tree in the uh, kitchen on the other side of the end of the... Oh, here. I'll step back. Yeah, that light does help. So um, there he is over at the stove. And this is my little tree. All the work. Yeah. My gingerbread tree. I love, love gingerbread tree. See that star up there? We made that out of those paper stars I gave y'all. His mom um, showed us how to make those. But all my little gingerbread men from, well, just about everywhere. Everywhere we go. I got that one in Hawaii. <laughs> and I got one from Germany somewhere. There's Boston. Did you show her the, uh, the that's the travel tree? Or that's no, the that's tree. my gingerbread yeah. tree. Yeah. Oh, and my smokers. I love smokers. Um, Chris's grandma's from Germany, so we like German stuff. And uh, she... Um, I love these little smokers. He's gonna he's gonna light one for you. See, it comes out of his mouth on that one. He's a little baker. Show him the Which one? You gonna do this one? Yeah. Okay. This one he's smoking a pipe. <laughs> and that one he's smoking a pipe too. But you have these little um these little scentsy things. Not scent. They're not scentsy brand, but they're a little. They have a smell to them. You can get different kinds, and that's getting hot. Well, I always sit it down yeah, on the well, thing. You're doing it the hard way. That's what I like to do things. Oh. And then you just you set it down. I always set it down, then light it, and then you put him on there. And then he it smells really good, and and then he'll he'll be. He'll be smoking his little pipe. <laughs> and this one, I love this one too. It, she, it's. Uh, Tell them where we got that one from. That one. Um, let me set you back down. That one we got. Let me turn you around. That one we got in Germany. Whenever we went with his grandma, and she showed us where she was born, and his grandmother is eighty. I think she's 84 or 85 but she gets around like she's 30 she just gets around really good she she can out walk me but um she was born in nuremberg germany so she showed us where she was born when she was a little girl she had how hitler and um um in school she said they were afraid to put their arm down because they'd get in trouble but then she married a GI and came to America. So he's smoking good now. Is he? Yeah. Okay. Look at these pork chops, y'all. Oh goodness. One Caleb's gonna be happy when he gets home. One of those I can't remember who it was said that they had pork chops last night. Somebody said Oh yeah? That. Okay, let's see. I think it's Cabin Woods or something. Oh Cabin in the Woods. Oh yeah, Tony. His name's Tony. Y'all do dirt y'all do Dirty Santa. Yeah. There's so many names for the very same thing. So, <clears throat> anyway. Well, my potatoes probably, you know what? I think they're probably, I'm going to turn them off and get my casserole dish out and get those where it is to brown. Get my strainer. We um, need more cabinet space. Or we could get rid of some of these trees. Oh no, I've got one, two, three, four, six trees. I wasn't.
was going to have five, but went ahead and had six. Okay, so I'm going to strain that, and then I'm going to pour it in this pan. And I'm going to, oh, they smell so good. That rosemary smells so good. Put a little bit of kosher, or, you know, coarse salt. And, of course, I'm not going to be able to reach it. Will you get that salt right there? Yeah. Put some coarse salt on there, and then I'm going to broil them. Isn't that easy? Just olive oil, rosemary, water, and salt. And, of course, your potatoes. Stick them on. I have a little toaster oven that I do everything in. I know y'all have seen it before. And let's see. Broil. Start. I've seen somebody put a comment on. My wife just came home from grocery. T okay. Yeah, you better go help her. <laughs> I went grocery shopping today and had to unload everything myself. That's okay, because, you know, he was working. Surprised that our other kids aren't here for dinner. Is he going to work late? He's one not. Yeah. Our oldest son, he got married back in April. And uh, he, works, he works for the same company as my husband. And then his wife works at our hospital close by. She's a phlebotomist, and uh, they live about 10 minutes from us, so I know some of y'all that's been following us a long time, y'all seen us remodel their house before the wedding. Let me show y'all what I like to do. So we, I know some people think this is gross, but I like to do it anyway. This, see this little deal, says grease pot? We save our bacon grease in here. It's got a little strainer. You just strain it. Well, you can put it on the stove and heat it for just a second. Not long. And then you can use it for cooking. That's probably long enough. And then I'll pour it on my... No, that wasn't long enough. It, there's not a lot in it because I, I like to clean it out real often. So nothing worse than rancid grease. Good. So I'll just pour a little bit on. Yeah. Pour that on our ba our green beans. I'm gonna warm those up when it's getting closer. Let's see. I'm so glad y'all are joining us. Do you think of anything else to tell them? Well, it's not that interesting. <laughs> we just have regular life around here. But y'all check out the praline recipe that I put up. Very good, <clears throat> real good. Yeah, let me show them to you. They're uh, over here. Let me turn you around since I learned how to do it. I see right here. Literally 10 minutes to make to make these. Wonderful, wonderful. So, so good. And uh, turn back around. Oh, and let me see if you can see it. See that white house just outside? That's where my mom lives, Granny. So let's turn you back around. A lot of y'all know that, but oh, that looks delicious, darling. We just cook too much. Well, they'll eat again tomorrow. Yeah. The last two are in there. Okay. So it made two. Well, there's a little bitty one. I cut them in half. Cause... Yeah, they're pretty big. So. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and go. I've enjoyed having y'all here. 
and uh, I can't think of anything to say, so I feel like we're just rambling at this point. And um, can you think of anything else? It's Merry mm -mm. Christmas. Merry Christmas, and have a wonderful. I'll upload my praline, and then I'm gonna have a punch that I'm making for the party for Sunday night. That's gonna be good. <laughs> if you haven't checked out uh, Cooking with Neighbors, I got it from got it from her. She's uh, so sweet. Jerry Ellen. And so, anyway, we'll see y'all next time. And uh, God bless and keep looking to the east. Bye. Bye.